Browns and Bengals on Halloween at First Energy Stadium. Monday night football, Joe Buck, Troy Aikman, all the good stuff that you love when you see a division rivalry matchup. Mary Kay, we're going to do some things to watch, so start us off. Well, normally I would have said Jamar Chase against the Browns secondary, but since he's not going to be playing, of course, it's going to be T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd and their tight end Hayden Hurst against the Browns secondary. And Joe Burrow, I mean, it's still going to be explosive. There will still be fireworks. Uh, we don't know if Denzel Ward will play right now. It's kind of looking like he won't, uh, but that, that makes for a big game for Greg Newsom, MJ Emerson. Uh, they will have a lot on their plate. Ashley, what are you watching? I'm really going to be watching who steps up on this offense in the event that David Njoku isn't ready to play with that mild high ankle sprain he's suffering from. And I really think there are a couple candidates. Obviously, Harrison Bryant or Harry Bryant, which we found out is his nickname this week, uh, is, I think, an obvious one. He's going to be stepping into that number one tight end role from that number two tight end role. I also think if you're looking at targets, Donovan Peoples-Jones might be a good guy to look at in this game. We, of course, know he has a tendency to make some explosive plays going against Cincinnati. So I'll be really curious to kind of see who fills that hole if David isn't out there. And I'll be watching this Browns run game, see if they can get it going again here against a Bengals defense that has been pretty good this year against the run, but they haven't faced a Nick Chubb type of runner. And he has had some big games against the Browns in state rivals. So uh, if he can keep that going, that's maybe how the Browns win this game to keep the ball out of Joe Burrow's hands and out of that explosive offense's hands. All right. Time to make picks. I'm going to start us off. I'm going to be a downer. I'm going to pick the Bengals to win this game on Monday Night Football. We're going to go 28-24 Cincinnati. Ashley, what about you? I'm going to go the other way, Dan. I'm going to pick the Browns to win this game for some reason. I just have that feeling. I think the Browns match up really well with Cincinnati. I think it's promising that the defense last week against Baltimore looked like it was figuring some things out. So I'm taking Cleveland 31-24. Mary Kay? I'm going Browns as well, and I think a, a large reason why I'm doing that is because I think the fact that Jamar Chase isn't playing, I think that's huge. I also think that Miles Garrett and Jadavian Clowney can get out there and affect Joe Burrow and try to disrupt him as much as they can. Again, I also think that the lights have come on a little bit for the defense, and uh, I see the Browns winning this one 29-27. to all right, Browns and Bengals, Monday Night Football, First Energy Stadium on Halloween. We, of course, will be there. Our three Bengals writers will be there as well, so you can get full coverage from both sides of this game. It'll be at Cleveland.com slash Browns, and it'll be at Cleveland.com slash Bengals.